Yo, what's up guys, Damer here. Today I'm going to make a tutorial over um, time remapping on your cinematics in After Effects. So, uh, first thing you want to do is open up After Effects. Uh, new comp, just type it whatever. I'm just going to type tutorial and OK. So, uh, I'm just going to make it 30 seconds. Like this. Um, you could really make it however you want. So, um... Just get any cinematics you want. I'm going to get um, some from a shill EC. Um, so I'm just going to drag them in. And then I'm going to get a few more. Oh, I was dragging them in the wrong thing. That's probably why it wasn't working. Okay, and then um, go over here. Where? Sorry, I just can't find these cinematics. Is it here? No. No. Uh, <laughs> um. Alright, we can just do three. That's fine. I thought I would have more, but it's fine. Uh, just drag your clips in. And then, um, I'm just gonna grab a song. Sorry, this video was not planned at all. I just got bored, so I thought I'd record a tutorial for you guys. So, um... Songs, <laughs> man. I don't know what song to do. Um, we're just gonna do bussin'. This was in my recent edit. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go watch that. Be in the top right corner. It's a very nice edit. So, first thing you want to do when you get your song is just double tap L. What's your favorite? Then you just want to go to this beat drop. So I'm gonna have it start right here. So uh, to mark beats, just come over here and press the marker tool. So my first cinematic is going to be here, and then it's going to end here. And then there's going to be one there. So first one, oh wait, there's this other one that we could add in. So this map's in, this one's nice. I'm actually making an edit with these uh, cinematics, so that's gonna be nice. Okay, right there. Okay, maps in. Now this one's gonna be my first one here. So you just wanna zoom in. Um, this one is actually cut a little bit, so I'm just gonna go forward to where it starts. Alright, I'm just gonna delete it. Okay. Drag this. Okay, so right there, Control Shift D to split it. Then you're just gonna drag it to here. You're gonna press Control Alt T. And uh, just create a point here. And then uh, just hold Shift and it should just lock to this first marker here. So, yeah, right there. Then just uh, go to the marker, Control Shift D. And that's basically what you're gonna do with all the cinematics, so. Um, I'm just gonna delete that. Line it up. Okay, Control Alt T, add a keyframe. Go here, add a keyframe. Or, uh, no, don't do that. I'm gonna go drag this ending keyframe to this. And then, uh, car 2. Personally, I don't like this cinematic, but, um, it's just gonna have to work. Okay, 
just gotta get this at the right angle. It's like here. So I want it to start. So control shift D to split. It's lined up, and then go here. Control Alt T. Add a marker on the first, and then drag this ending keyframe to the marker. Then the last one um, is the soccer skin running. So Control Alt T. Go to here. And just like that. Okay, now that you have all those like that, um, I'm gonna actually gonna add some black bars. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make black bars. In my last tutorial, I taught you guys how to do it, but we're just gonna do it again. So press Enter on the layer and just name it black bars or whatever you want to name it. Just like that, and then come over here, motion tile, drag it on, uh, keyframe the height. Go to wherever you want them to come in. I just like keyframing them in and put 85 values and now it looks like this. Just gonna easy ease those by pressing F9. And like that. So, uh, now we're gonna time remap all these. So, come to your first sim, press U, and uh, select them and press F9. Then uh, you can zoom in on this graph here. And make sure, here, just copy my settings, but just right click on the graph and make sure you have these selected. So, edit value graph. So, if it looks like this, uh, just come up here and edit value. Then just drag this one up and drag this one down. It's not that hard. And you're just going to do that with all of them. And then you can adjust them later if you really need to. So, what I could do is just press control, everything here, and then F9 all of them. And then just um, drag them up like that. And then drag these up like this. So now all these are time remapped. So. So these car cinematics go really fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna decrease the the speed a little bit. It's just cause these cinematics are weird. So I'm actually just gonna delete these and just have this. It's cause those ones are like looking really weird, but you guys get the point. Basically what you do is you just time out the two points and then uh, easy ease graph editor and then you have a smooth looking transition so this I want to come in faster and this isn't coming fast enough so I care oh it's cuz I have it overlaid that's why here redo this apparently F9 so yeah that's I just showed you guys how easy that is so uh, that's how you time remap cinematics uh, let me know what you guys uh, need a tutorial on in the comments because I'm really running out of ideas it's it's kind of hard to come up with video ideas but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and uh, I'll see you in the next one peace